What's up everybody, Jason back here with another diecast review. Tonight, I will be reviewing the 2016 John Force Peak Antifreeze and Coolant Realtree Chevy Camaro 124 scale produced by Lionel Racing. Unfortunately, it does not... It, it It's nice, but it has its problems to the point where by the time you watch this review, I won't have this car anymore. I'll be shipping it back and getting a different car because of the manufacturing problems that this car has now we'll go over that in the review so stay tuned but i want to get over the good stuff i do like the mold the overall look of the new chevy camaro i do like the paint scheme the livery on this car john racist in the western swing last year and won i believe denver and seattle in this car so as a john force car fan i had to have it but unfortunately it's got problems that I just can't look past. I'm not the only one with problems with this car. Multiple multiple people I've spoken with have had this problem with this car and the 2016 Blue Tracks' Courtney Force car that just was released by Lionel Racing 2. Also has the same exact problem. I'll go over that. But first, let's go over sponsors and stuff on the body. On the front, we have AAA.com and you can see the oval AAA logos on either side. Got the Chevrolet bow tie in the headlight package there and above it which that kind of annoys me right there that the Chevy bow tie both Chevy bow ties are not straight one is off to the other side of the other one above it that's my OCD just kicking in there got Realtree peak antifreeze and we have blue def up here with her liner on either side of the supercharger up on the front windshield, we have Camaro tra and Tractus with American flag up on the roof. Moving on to the front here, we have Luke's Oil, Blue Def, and AAA. We do have the Chevrolet bow tie. We have Auto Club, Automobile Club of Southern California, Lucas Slickmist, PPG, Peak Antifreeze and Coolant. We have some contingency sponsors down here like Action by Lionel. Perco, Simpson, Mainsgate, E3 Spark Plugs, Weld, Racing, Freightliner, Goodyear, Final Charge. We have Lucas Oil, John Force, Next Generation. We have the cool, in my opinion, pretty cool looking Fox NHRA logo. Chevrolet with a Chevrolet bow tie. Up on the quarter window, we have the fastest name in radio control, Traxxas. Got John Force, the number 7, and Eric Medlin 4 in memory decal. Back on the rear window, we have the Chevy bow tie with Chevrolet again. Moving to the back quarter panel, we have Mac Tools, Be Your Own Boss. We have some more sponsors down here on the rocker panel, like Clebite, TMS, MSD, Easy Go, Mastercam. We have ARP, Cop, and Manola. I'm not going to go over all those sponsors because it's not necessary. We do have some sponsors back here on the inside of the rear wing, like Safety Clean, Jet Hot, Sunoco, Racing Electronics, Manly, X it, XRP, Strange Racing Axles, and Standard Braces, along with Jessel and Lincoln welders moving along to, oh and the rear wing here we have team real tree NHR Millie all series Traxxas back here on the rear bumper area we have the AAA logo once again the really nice tail light decals of the Camaro parachutes and blue def as you can see on the bottom of the rear, rear wing right there we do have the wheelie bar and cables the right side of the car is exactly the same and you see right here it does come with the die cast body post I'll use that I'll be using that here in a second so that is the car itself we're gonna go over the defects of this car now and you can probably tell by the right height if you look you're not supposed to be able to see the red fire extinguishers sticking out from underneath the front of the car and it's not supposed to right up be off the ground that high but some people ask well can't you just push it down and close it here's what happens you can push it down but as you see it just comes right back up I did do a separate video of the new mold I'll put the link in the description below It'll explain a lot to why there's this problem they are using the old 90s method of attaching the car's body to the chassis and they created this new mold but never updated the chassis. New does not necessarily mean fits old very well. 
and there's two little clamps on the inside of this body that are supposed to go around the front fuel cell. Just doesn't do it. I'll show you that to you here in a second as well. Look at it from the side. You see the header sticking out. There's way too much of a gap there. And even there, there is not supposed to be that much of a gap between the ground and the body and the body and the wheel. That is not supposed to be like that. So it's a definite, I was going to try to suck it up and deal with it. But when you spend 70 bucks on these die casts, you want them to be good. So I'm sending it back to my dealer who graciously is letting me exchange it for a car of equal value. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this review, this car won't be here once you see this review, unfortunately. So I'm going to pause it, take the body off. And we'll go over the details of the chassis. Be right back. Stay tuned. All right, I'm back here now with the body off. We'll go over the defects here. I don't know what they were thinking, but that front bar, it's not just me, but that is crooked. The whole chassis, look at that. The whole chassis is crooked. Look at the fuel cell. Look at that bar where the body post is supposed to hook. Here, I'll get that body post. There you go. It's just, how is that? That ain't right. I mean, I don't like to criticize Lionel Racing too much because they do normally do a good job. But this is just, how did this get past quality control? There's no way this could should have made it off to mass production. They're all this way. This is not just a localized deal with this mine. It, Multiple people have had this problem, and even people watch, even you guys, my viewers watching this review, will notice the whole chassis is twisted on the front clip. But, anyways, we got the two fire extinguishers on either side of the fuel cell right there. We do have nice detailing on the brakes and front suspension, or front steering, and everything. The funny cars don't have a suspension, so to speak. Got the box here for the tuners so they can make adjustments before the car goes down to down the track. Really nice detailing on the engine. Unfortunately, this year in 2017, that will change. This entire chassis will no longer be die cast. It will be the gold series and be plastic. So we have that to look forward to. So you might want to take a look at this engine detail now because later on this year or this summer when I reviewed the 2017 stuff, it won't be like this. All the belts and hoses, kit, all the straps holding the supercharger on top of the car, or on top of the engine, gone, most likely, with this detail. So, back here we do have the yellow sticker down there for, on the bell housing. We do have the driver protection guard for, to protect their hands. We do have all the knobs, shifters, levers, and the steering wheel. We do have the full roll cage, which is plastic this is plastic the rest of it is die cast the frame rails and everything going along the car is die cast for the most part except for the main halo and protection of the roll cage for the driver is plastic and glued at each point on the chassis there we do have the cam lock safety harness in there we have the detail back here where the car clips onto the body clips onto the chassis Got the hosing wheelie bar, which you can also see is kind of bent, not straight down. It's kind of at an arch. Functional rear wheel, or on the wheel, uh, wheelie bar there. So, a lot of, if I gave this car, if I had to recommend this car, I wouldn't. Do not spend your money on this car. It is available at JohnForceRaceStation.com for full retail, plus if you wanted an autograph for 25 I don't recommend it, nothing against any of these businesses, but do not spend your money on this car. It is not worth it until they fix it, but I just don't know if they will. I messaged Lionel Racing the other day about it. They said they have their uh, design and production team investigating it. I don't know how much further it will go past that investigating. I don't know if they'll implement it, any new deals into that, but... It is what it is. Don't spend your 65 to 70 dollars on this car. And unfortunately, the 2016 Blue Traxxas of Courtney Force is the same way. Do not buy that car. A friend of mine just got his yesterday. Posted on my diecast review page, which will be linked in the description below. Show me a picture. 
same gaps, same body issues are on that as well. Speaking of that, here's the bottom. There's those two clips. They're metal. No way of, you know, massaging those to fit. They clip on around the fuel cell down there. And because of that, that's the reason the body is having the problems, in my opinion. They're using the 1990s body mounting method on the new chassis, and it just does not work. Mine is number 837 of 1021 produced. I didn't want to do this review, but I figured I'd want to warn you, my subscribers and viewers, and if you have any friends that collect NHRA diecast, be sure to let your friends see this review. Don't let them spend their money on it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I post new reviews every Thursday and randomly throughout the week, along with racing videos. Post those also. My links to my social media sites will be down in the description below. I will also link the video I did a couple weeks back on the comparing the 2015 and this body to each other. It will help you understand the problem a little further. But thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone. Take care, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.